next day, Hal had secretly enlisted his crew to donate their rations and to make parachutes from handkerchiefs. As Hal's plane approached the runway and the grass came into view, with the precision of bombardiers, the airmen pushed the candy out of the flare chute and white canopies floated to earth. 30 children ran with open arms to catch the treasures. Hal and his buddies were as excited as the children. The thrill of giving was irresistible. Soon, they were dropping parachutes every day, hundreds of them. By December, the Little Vittles operation had gathered 18 tons of candy from American candy makers, and three more tons came in from private donors. The spirit of Christmas was descending on people everywhere, lifting them up in the joy of giving. the real spirit of Christmas, to give whatever we have, no matter how small the gift. In that moment, Hal Halverson prayed for the courage to never give anything less. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the candy bomber himself, Colonel Gail Hal Halverson, now 92 years young.